And so what is going on in in Lee? And uh, how do you how do you see it all playing out? <laughs> A very good morning to both of you and to everybody kind enough to be listening and watching to uh, GB News TV and radio. It, it's called the People's Forum because it's not about me. It's about people like this, lovely people up and about early in the morning going to work. And it's whatever questions they want to ask Liz Truss, as you rightly say, currently Foreign Secretary, hoping to be Prime Minister. Whether they will ask her about what's written on men's loos as opposed to what's written on women's loos, I have no idea. But if they do, my sole function is to just make sure that she gives as straight an answer as possible to the questions that uh, folk have submitted. You'll know, both of you, uh, that a few days back we invited uh, listeners to all of the GB News TV and radio programmes to submit questions via questions at gbnews.uk and we've been inundated. And what I find most fascinating is this, that yes, there's a huge amount about the cost of living crisis, yes, there's a huge amount about whether tax cuts is the answer or whether handouts is the answer, and that's the big Rishi versus Liz argument all over the newspapers this morning. Fascinating interview with Martin Lewis, the money savvy, money saving expert in the Times as well. But they also want to know about what she would do if she was Prime Minister about the boat people, the immigrants. What she would do about Rwanda. She says she'd toughen it up, but what does that actually mean? Uh, there are questions about women and whether girls are safe to go to the loo when they're at school uh, and the rest of it. It's a very wide range of questions and those questions are still coming in right up to the last minute and as you rightly say it'll be kick off at five o'clock me as the host, referee if you like and uh, about 70 or 80 members of the public, GB News viewers and listeners who will be there to grill the PM with me just wearing a white coat, sweater over my shoulders as the umpire. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. What I suppose will be really interesting as well is we, we're so used to seeing Liz Truss, aren't we, being challenged by the membership uh, at all of these hustings, people that we seem to think, you know, already really like her. But opening up the audience in the way that we have and broadening it could perhaps make it a bit more of a challenge for her. And I suppose, you know, that's going to be the challenge that she faces at a general election should she win the leadership contest. I think that that's very true. And she's particularly keen for it to be held here in Manchester at Lee, just a, a, a wee while away from here, because, of course, it is behind that infamous red wall. Uh, Lee was a Labour seat back well, to the 1920s, even before Eamon and I were reporting on these matters. Uh, but, of course, in 2019, Boris and Brexit, it swung into the Tory camp. And so I think people will be really interested in knowing what she's got to say directly to them, not only about why, if they are members of the Conservative Party, they should vote for her to become their next leader and our Prime Minister, but if they're not members of the Conservative Party, Labour, Liberal, none of the above, whether she can persuade them to vote Conservative and what would be that historic fifth term in office for one party. Quite extraordinary. So I think Lee quite literally is the perfect cauldron to have that discussion and see how she gets on. OK, Alistair, we're looking forward...